And second, be a squirrel. It's them, but who would win if it's them versus themselves? Like what would happen? When doing research on the backstories of the athletes, I stumbled on some previously undiscovered footage. And with a little narrative liberty, from the outside, you can see it was a simple home, and on the inside, it was more of the same. Without money to buy new things, they were really good about repurposing whatever they could scavenge. But what they lacked in material possessions, they made up for in quality family time. That other squirrel. Now, Fat Gus has always just sort of been Fat Gus. Even that Sydney Augustine, for her part, was always very clever, but also very particular. Here you can see her spending a long time trying to get her bed just right before sleeping for all of three seconds and then waking up to a new hairdo. And while they come from humble beginnings, they've been training to compete in the backyard games for the Walnut Cup since the moment they could scurry, because it represented a chance to move up to a nicer tree in the neighborhood. You might not know is they grew up in Walnut Estates, in a nice Japanese maple down the street. But unlike Hubcap Hills, Walnut Estates features a hickory piano and a fully stocked bookshelf. And so as you might imagine, Rick and Marty's athletic training equipment was also a step above. Not only that, but Walnut Estates is so spacious it has two rooms. This was a home protected from the harsh world where they could take their time learning basic skills. Even eating. And what you should know about Rick and Marty is they've always been fairly athletic and they also scare pretty easy. But despite their differences, what all four contenders have in common as they watch from the telephone wire grandstands. The bird stands are constructed such that they give the birds a perfect view of the game without being bothered by the squirrels because the wires are too unstable. But that didn't stop them from trying because of course they were going to try. They literally just try everything. That's like what- Then of course there's a few cats who seem to be just a bit too curious. It's a bit of a bully. And his name... Russian walnuts at night from the underground sewer network. Squirrels aren't even nocturnal. I mean, he'd have to go through... Wait a second. Zoom in right there. Of course. Fat Tail was masterminding the whole thing all along to cheat the system. Tail. He did some hard time in the slammer because he's a jerk.